So welcome to another video from theplayersaid.com. My name is Alexander, and today we're taking a look inside The Devils to Pay, the first day at Gettysburg. Now, this is from Tiny Battle Publishing, but you can see it's in a box. Uh, this is their first ever boxed game that Tiny Battle's done. I know they've got at least two or three in the works. Um, but this is their first non-magazine game, or non-folio game, I should say, that they've done. Um, it's designed by Herman Lutman, who's a really fun designer. We've sat down and talked to him a few times, a really good dude, and his games are always fun to play, which is a really, really important part of wargaming for me. Um, stimulation's great, it's got to be enjoyable though, and his are always fun, as far as I'm concerned. So, I'm excited to get my teeth into this. It's not the whole of Gettysburg, it is just the first day, and that's frankly to make it playable and to keep it enjoyable and reasonable in a small box like this. So they give you a bunch of dice, nice red, white, and blue colors there. And then we have the rule book, which is the rule pamphlet, I suppose. <laughs> and I remember it's, it's like 36 pages long, but this is a tiny little half booklet, and there's a ton of diagrams and examples in here, so it's actually very, in all of this is scenarios. So really there's like 27 pages of rules, but you can cut that in half and that's the rule book. This is not a complex game to learn. And it uses, I believe, what is referred to as a modified blind swords system. So there's going to be some chip pull and bits and pieces and events. So I'm, I'm pumped to see how this one plays out. Ooh. So there's two, it's one sheet of counters, it's two half sheets. Here we've got the Let's see if I can't get these in focus, because I really like the artwork on these. Here's the Union troops, and they have really, really good detail on them. Oh, let's see. They're very, very nice looking counters. And just, yeah, they punch, they pull off the sprues decently enough. Oh, some of these are kind of just falling off now. Ooh. Okay, we'll just take a look at these counters. So these, you want to clip them, they have the gates in the middle of the top and bottom of the sprues of the chits, the sides have nothing. But those are pretty nice. Let's see, we got the CSA here as well. Again, really nice counters there. And that's some shaken markers and some administrative stuff here as well. I think these... Yeah, these are activations. I'm pretty sure those are all going in a cup, and that's how we can activate the various divisions in this one. Oh, he says. But, everything else in here, okay. We'll get to the map here in a second. Union OOB, Confederate OOB, Confederate played, Union played. But these also have different events. So they both have different events for each side, which I really like. And I know Herman's a big fan of, and that's why they're in there. And then we have a CRT here, with obviously a sliding scale on it. And on the back we have a bunch of different uh, cohesion checks and charts and tables, so not a whole lot. And the rest of it is this map. And the map, alright, before I bugger this up, it's by Jose Fauda and Rick Barber did the artwork and the art, the map is a very, very, very probably iconic one. I think this one's... Okay. So this is the map. So Gettysburg in the middle. Uh, it's what you'd expect, Cemetery Hill down here. But Gettysburg, Devils to Pay, Turn Track. Everything else is hexes, which are mostly very clearly defined, but I don't know if, I kind of want to show you up close. So this is like a semi-gloss map, but the art style is like a, it's literally a hand-drawn style of map. So if you look here, you can see, yeah, this was drawn with like a pen and ink, and it looks like it was colored in. Uh, with some crayons, 
it not in a bad way, in like a this is a physical piece of artwork way. And you know, there's like the sun and some clouds on this turn track. It's just a very, very fascinating looking map. Definitely, this is a very distinct style. But there's also the different reliefs here with the dark and the light gradients of green. So this light green, you're going up a hill, darker green, top of the hill, darker green here. Then there's forests, and there's obviously like kind of cliffs and things like that. That's and the reliefs all put into um, into the map and the drawing. So this is a very uh, cool looking map, but it, hopefully a short game. Yes, another Gettysburg game, but this is only day one, and it's a Herman Lutman game with only uh, you know one sheet of canvas. So we'll be playing around with this one. Hopefully we'll be able to get a review to you soon on it. Um, but it's available now from Tiny Battle Publishing. It's their first ever game in a box, small box, but a box nonetheless. And appreciate you guys tuning in. This has been the Devils to Pay um, from Herman Lutman, put out by Tiny Battle Publishing.